Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing? How am I doing? I don't know. This is the impression of how sad I get sometimes. It's why bother. It's just sometimes. Not right now. Lots of lots of ladies in here tonight. Ooh, lots of fellas too. <laughs> I'm not trying to fuck the fellas. Just trying to speak to their hearts. Maybe something they can relate to. Don't you, don't you hate it, guys, when you're you're making out with a girl and you're like, oh, you like that girl? And she's standing over there. She's just like, Brian, what are you doing? I'm like, your voice sounds like mine. Stop busting it on my sex ass. <laughs> She's the worst. <laughs> Alright, got a, got a little filthy joke for you. A little filthy joke here. Uh, so I met this girl recently, he's got this real strange fetish. Uh, she likes for me to artificially inseminate her. But, but every time I have to put a condom on the turkey baster first. I don't know why I keep talking to her. And there's this other girl, her favorite position is called Fuck the Tail of the Donkey. Which is when I have to get into doggy style position and tuck my wiener back and she has sex with it. <laughs> when I wrote that joke in my book, I also drew a picture of it, and I was also on the CTA. And, and this lady like looked and saw it, and she was like, <laughs> "It's a weird world." I don't know. I don't. I don't really like getting into a physical relationship that quickly. Uh, I think I'd much rather get into a metaphysical. <laughs> where we merge consciousness and only experience collective thought. <laughs> like, damn girl, I can meditate with you for hours. <laughs> or at least a couple minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> calm. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, back in the Stone Age, rocks were considered the latest technology. Argue with me? I don't care. They were. <laughs> And uh, back in the Stone Age, metal bands were just called rock bands. <laughs> and I kind of want to start a rock band and call it call it Syndrome of a Down. <laughs> and we just have one extra guitar player, just really off rhythm. Just fucking everything up. <laughs> Shouldn't have started a band with that guy. <laughs> Good stage presence, though. <laughs> He's a riot. Uh, so, Abraham Lincoln's getting pretty big again. He's got like two movies coming out. One of them wasn't good. The other one's called Lincoln, though. That's just his last name, Abraham Lincoln. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I really want a movie that's just called My Last Name. It would be called Man, because my name's Brian Man. But every time you say it, you have to say it, Man, and it's just me smiling in a bunch of places. Uh, I had to do a research project, though, on Abraham Lincoln in the eighth grade. <laughs> and I came across this really dumb quote. It was, uh, the ballot is stronger than the bullet. And I just want to know if he said that before or after he got shot with a bullet. <laughs> if he gets shot with a ballot, it's probably out of some makeshift gun that's not very effective. It's not gonna do shit. <laughs> Fucking politics. I mean, just, just one thing after the other. With those guys. <laughs> that was silly. Uh, so let's get real for a little bit, guys. Uh, hold on to your butts. I'll do it for you. Uh, so, my mom's a heroin addict. Give it up. Give it up, 
everybody. That's, that's what I always tell her. And she never listened. <laughs> Difficult lady, that one. Uh, but she's been in prison for eight years, so I haven't had to deal with that. It's been nice. Uh, she gets out in January. I'm gonna like take her to some place real crazy and be like, look at the future. <laughs> She's like, well, I just learned Excel in my class, and I'm like, that's not gonna help you. <laughs> I'm like, look over here. It's the economy. <laughs> it's not as good as you think it is. Jeez. Uh, uh, before, I, before I moved here, she did come out of the closet to me, uh, which is understandable. She's been in an all-women's facility for eight years. Mama needs some love. <laughs> but she told me, she was, she was describing her girlfriend. She was like, she's got a sweet face, she's really nice, and she's got a fat ass. And I was like, damn, Mom, you like the same asses as me. <laughs> And, uh, like, finally something we can talk about. I never, I never really got the heroin stuff, but a fat ass I can get behind. Like, have sex with it? Uh, and then my mom started telling my sister this story about her girlfriend going down in an honor in a prison bathroom, and I was just like, Gross! And I punched my sister in the face and made out with her so that they'd kick us out. Because them's the rules. You can't tap dance either in prison. Which is tough for me because that's my mode of transportation. Uh, yeah, so my mom was a heroin addict growing up. That was fun. Real smack rabbit. And she used to cut my hair because she took a class one time. And one time the clippers broke halfway through, so I had no hair here, but like a bunch back here. I looked like fucking Anthony Hopkins. I was honored. That man's been in a lot of movies. I mean, he's in that one. I think he's in the other one after that, because of how good he did. And now he owns 80% of IMDb. Okay. That one, that one was stupid. Uh, give it up for Anthony Hopkins, though, everybody. Ooh. He's great. Uh, I think I'm done. Uh, but before I get out of here, I just want to do one thing to test the happiness levels. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you, you want to show it, just clap your hands. Um, you guys seem happier than the amputee hospital I did that at, so... They didn't have hands. Mark Playsec has hands, and he's gonna shake mine.